Hello and welcome to another video on GCSE Italian. Let's get right into it. In today's video, we are going to work on this exam question. It's part of theme theory, current and future study and employment. The exam question reads, scrivi un articolo per un giornalino scolastico. Menziona perché studiare è importante, l'importanza di andare all'università in futuro. Scrivi circa 150 parole in italiano, rispondi ai due aspetti della domanda. Now, in English, uh, this translates into write an article for a newspaper, for a school newspaper, mention why studying is important, the importance of going to university in the future. Write approximately 150 words in Italian, answer both aspects of the question. Now, let's have a look at a possible response to this question. On my screen is a sample response taken from AQA's marks game. According to AQA, this type of response can and will get you 32 marks. I'm going to read it first, then I'll annotate it and go through some of the reasons why this kind of response would get you high marks. Studiare è molto importante nella vita di oggigiorno perché ti aiuta non solo a trovare un lavoro ben pagato, ma anche a sviluppare le abilità accademiche e come fare dei lavori manuali. Sfortunatamente, molti giovani non capiscono l'importanza di studiare e vogliono solo guadagnare dei soldi senza fare nessuno sforzo. Secondo me, non è giusto perché si deve essere orgogliosi di quello che si fa nella vita. A me piace studiare perché imparo tante cose, in particolare in biologia, chimica e fisica. In futuro, mi piacerebbe continuare a studiare le scienze al sixth form e vorrei andare all'università. Se andassi all'università, potrei studiare la medicina e aprire uno studio medico per i poveri. Inoltre, è anche utile andare all'università perché non solo si può imparare molto, ma si può fare tante amicizie che durano una vita. All'università si impara anche a diventare indipendenti, specialmente quando si va lontano da casa. I'm now going to annotate this response. So, let's start. Studiare è molto importante nella vita di oggi giorno. Studying is very important in life today. So you can see that what was included in the writing question, the first bullet point to be precise, has been included at the beginning of this paragraph. And what's more, molto has been added to it which shows the examiner that you know adverbs in italian and you are confident about where they are placed in a sentence perché ti aiuta because it helps here we have a connective now what would be good for you is to have a list of all the connectives that you can use in your answer whether it's your writing or speaking exam use them as much as you can and try not to be repetitive because um If you are repetitive, uh, it means that you do not have a deep knowledge of the Italian vocabulary and that can make you lose marks. I mean, imagine this task was for your, um, for your paper two section B English language exam or your English speaking and listening exam and you keep repeating because when there are other synonyms you could use, how do you think your writing or your speech would sound to the examiner? That's why it's really important to know your connectives, okay? Non solo a trovare un lavoro ben pagato, not only to find a well-paid job. Here we have un lavoro, which shows the examiner that we know the difference between the masculine and the feminine in Italian. Um, please make sure to pay attention to these when writing in Italian. 90% of the time, any noun that ends with the letter O is masculine, um, just as lavoro, and any noun that ends with the letter A is feminine, just as vita. The examiner is going to like that you pay attention to the masculine and feminine. Ma anche a sviluppare le abilità accademiche, but also to develop your, academics, your academic abilities. Um, you can translate abilità into skills as well. Here we have a connective, uh, but, and a higher tier vocabulary, sviluppare. If you are aiming for 32 marks, learn higher tier vocabulary. You cannot get full marks if you're using basic words. Also, when writing, um, you should know that spelling plays a very big role. As you can see, abilità is spelled correctly and the accent mark is placed exactly where it should be. Remember, um, most of the time, any word that ends with T 
T-Y in English ends with T-A in Italian with the accent mark facing the left. And also, uh, these words usually do not have a plural form. The only way you can turn it into plural is by adding an article in front of the word. Um, the article should be in a plural form. In fact, le has been used here. Again, showing the examiner that you know your stuff. E come fare dei lavori manuali and how to do manual jobs. The word lavoro that was used earlier in now, um, sorry, the word lavoro that was used earlier is now in the plural form here. This is another aspect of Italian grammar that you need to be familiar with, so, which is knowing how to put nouns in the plural form based on the gender. Sfortunatamente, now um, the key to successful writing is to organize what we are writing using words and phrases to connect ideas and to um, and to express how we feel about what we are saying. Um, and this is where discourse markers come in. Here, the discourse marker sfortunatamente, which means unfortunately, has been used. What does this tell the examiner? It tells them that you can write in a fluent and coherent manner in Italian. You want to get full marks? You need to show off, okay? All those vocabularies you've been learning all year round, this is the time to use them, okay? Molti giovani non capiscono l'importanza di studiare. Many young people do not understand the importance of studying. Um, so remember, we use non in Italian for the negation. Also, in the first sentence I translated at the start of this paragraph, we saw the word molto, which means very. Here, we have the word molti. However, it means many. Okay? The difference between the two is that molto is used to describe something, like in molto importante, whereas molti is used for quantities, like in molti giovani. And um, unlike molto, molti should agree with the gender and the number of the word you're describing. So if you said something like, um, let's say, many houses, that would translate into molte case, because house is feminine in Italian. Here, molti has been used because giovani, which means young people, is masculine. Okay? I hope you understand my explanation. If you don't, please drop a comment on the comment section and I'll try to explain better. Okay? Let's move on with the annotation. E volano solo guadagnare dei soldi senza fare nessuno sforzo. And they only want to earn money without making any effort. Secondo me, in my opinion, you could also say credo, penso. Okay, examiners like it when you use opinion words and phrases. Non è giusto perché si deve essere orgogliosi di quello che si fa nella vita. It's not right because you should be proud of what you do in life. A me piace, it means um, I like, so a reflexive verb has been used here. You can also say mi piace. The difference is that a me piace is used to uh, place emphasis, okay, so you use it to emphasize. Studiare perché imparo tante cose. To study because I like learning many things. You can see that many has been translated into tante instead of molte, just to avoid being repetitive as it has been used uh, various times already. In particolare, in biologia, chimica e fisica. In particular, biology, chemistry and physics. Okay? Um, now you may be thinking, there is no way I'm going to be able to write this kind of response. Okay? It's impossible. It's totally okay, okay? Um, take what you can. Take the bits that you can and do it well. Remember, AQA states that it's a possible response. So they're not expecting to see every single thing that's in these uh, sample response, okay, in your own response, okay? Um, let's look at the second paragraph. Remember, the second bullet point is l'importanza di andare all'università in futuro, okay? The importance of going to university in the future. I'm going to highlight some words in this paragraph. Have a look. Um, what is it I'm highlighting? Piacerebbe, vorrei, potrei. Um, I think that's it. Um, if you spot more conditionals, just put it in the comment section. Um, as you can see from the highlighted words, uh, the response shows confidence in using the conditional tense, okay? So please make sure that when you are answering a writing question about the future, you try to include the conditional where you can and perhaps add another tense to it, such as andassi. 
Now let's annotate the um, answer, okay, the second paragraph. In futuro, again, what was included in the writing question, that is the second bullet point, have been included at the beginning of this paragraph. Telling the examiner that you know you need to talk about the future, okay? Telling the examiner that you are following the instruction given, which was respond the idea aspect della domanda, okay? Answer both aspects of the question. Mi piacerebbe continuare a studiare. I would like to continue to study. Did you spot the two infinitives? <laughs> continuare and studiare. Le scienze are sixth form. Now, um, scienze on its own means a science. However, le scienze means the sciences. So that's chemistry, biology, physics, you name it, okay? At the end of the first paragraph, this subject will mention, however, here, le scienze has been used instead to avoid repetition, okay? What does this tell you? It tells you that synonyms are very important. So please learn your synonyms. E vorrei andare all'università, and I would like to go to university. Se andassi all'università, uh, se andassi means if I went, and the use of this tense is among the reasons why this response got a high mark. So please try and learn how to conjugate verbs in this way. Uh, examples are piacessi, volessi, potessi, okay? And also, always develop your answer. That is exactly what's happening at the beginning of this sentence. We've talked about wanting to go to university and now we want to talk about what we would do when we are there. Okay? Uh, it says, potrei studiare la medicina. I could study medicine. Make sure you have good knowledge of how to say different subjects in Italian because you may have to use them at some point in your writing exam. E aprire uno studio medico per i poveri and open a GP surgery for the poor. Um, studio medico is definitely a higher tier vocabulary. We also have um, clinica, which means clinic, or um, ospedale, which means um, hospital. Inoltre, now this is a really good discus marker. It means furthermore. Other examples of discus markers in Italian are allora, dunque, d'altronde. Okay, it's important to learn them. It helps take your writing definitely to the next level. È anche utile andare all'università perché non solo si può imparare molto, ma si può fare tante amicizie che durano una vita. It's also useful to go to university because not only can one learn a lot, but you can make uh, friendships that last a lifetime. All'università si impara anche a diventare indipendenti. At university, one also learns to become independent. Um, here we have a further developing of the answer to the written, to the written question. Um, the word independenti should be quite easy for you to learn uh, and remember because it's a cognate. It's very similar to the English word, um, just like università. Specialmente quando si va lontano da casa, especially when you go away from home. Okay, so that's the end of the video. I hope you found it useful. If you want to learn more about GCSE Italian, make sure to subscribe to my channel now. Not later, not tomorrow, now. <laughs>